some characters have the capacity to jump off the page into one's consciousness. Their personalities, their experiences are enough to make or break the reader. There are so many characters who have become legends on camera. Ichabar Finch, Elizabeth Bennet, Reagan McNeil, Celie Johnson, Paul Atreides, Hannibal Lecter. Good evening, Clarice. I thought you might like your drawings back, Doctor. Just until you get your view. How very thoughtful. Clarice Starling is an FBI agent in training. For human interest stuff, she's given a job interviewing the infamous psychiatrist Hannibal Lecter. His background, his knowledge could be valuable in catching another infamy known as Buffalo Bill. Watching the juxtaposition creates gold. You watch Clarice, you watch her emotions, her vulnerabilities. She allows herself to be analyzed by the most dangerous doctor ever caught in order to catch the most dangerous murderer on the street. I'm only asking you to look at this, Doctor. Either you will or you won't. Yeah. Jack Crawford must be very busy indeed if he is recruiting help from the student body. Busy hunting that new one, Buffalo Bill. What a naughty boy he is. From the first meeting, her eyes, her movement, even the twitch on her face, tension is palpable with every back and forth with this man-beast locked in his special cage. When we first see him, he's just a man, but we know he has done some serious shit. And as the scene progresses, a morphine of sorts, we understand. We feel the shivers of our spine. We understand why he can never be released, but we are drawn to him. This is a being of awesome intelligence, charm and sophistication who under the surface has an intense, primal, vicious streak. He analyzes her every move, every word, everything. When she goads him, he responds like the snap of a crocodile. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. But when something happens to Clarice from Lecter's cellmate, he drops his guard and a verbal contract is struck. He gives her a place to start. And if you're not hooked before then, you are now. Jonathan Demi was considered untested before he went into production. People were saying he doesn't have the experience to make such a strong story. How wrong were they? An instant masterpiece, loved by even the most hardest of horror fans. Again, I repeat myself, horror has its place at the big table. This is another reason. The third movie in history to take all five top Academy Awards. Demi's reputation went through the roof. People don't seem to realize that this is actually a sequel. Thomas Harris's original novel, Red Dragon, was actually made in 1986. It was called Manhunter. The original Hannibal Lecter was played by British legend Brian Cox. Will Graham played by another legend, William Peterson. After this and the years following, Hopkins doubted he would ever return to the role. But after agreeing to reappraise Hannibal for Ridley Scott and everything that came after it, some bright spark thought it would be great to complete the trilogy. And unfortunately, this version has eclipsed the original. People either forget or don't know that Manhunter exists. It's one of the best thrillers of the 1980s. 
a while ago I read the novel and I was amazed at how much more there was to it. Will Graham is in there. The movie took out everything regarding Crawford's wife. There's more to the meeting between Lecter and the Senator. The writers did what Spielberg did with Jaws and threw away the side stories. The story is about these main characters. Nothing else matters. Now this is the kind of story that made dividends to retire on. One of the most talked about movies of the 20th century. A jewel in the horror crown. A bust of Hannibal sits in the house of horror with Count Orlock, Freddy, Jason and Michael. Like Jaws, like The Exorcist, it will never die. I have no plans to call on you, Clarice. The world's more interesting with you in it. So you take care now to extend me the same courtesy. You know I can't make that promise. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Bye. Today's video is brought to you by the dreaded witch snot. That shit's 